Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going hunting for the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Funko Pops. So let's get started! We're starting at home today because I already have one of them in the collection, which is Scarlet Witch, and I got this one the other day over at GameStop. I figured I might as well show it off today so that way you guys can see what this figure looks like, and it's actually one of my favorite Scarlet Witch figures they've made so far. Because even though this is like the fifth or sixth pop of her, they make her more and more detailed as well as more accurate every single time. Like if you look at this Scarlet Witch versus the original one they did, it is night and day. And so anyways guys, now that we've gotten this figure out of the way, let's go to the first store which is going to be Walmart. Oh and actually before we do that, I have to let you guys know that there should be a package arriving all the way from Australia with some exclusives that haven't released yet here in Canada. It's going to be pretty fun. Alrighty, so here is the Walmart section and I'm not seeing anything new new Doctor Strange, but they do have the Doctor Strange from Spider-Man No Way Home, but that's not what we're looking for today. And so I guess this Walmart was, well, a bit of a bust, but it's always good to check. Now, I don't think I'm going to be getting these today, but I wanted to come over to the toy section to see if they had anything else that was Doctor Strange, and I ran into these. Oh, this is kind of interesting. The astral form, as well as I believe this is Master Mordo, and then they have a couple other figures, too. Some more of the Doctor Strange, and then, ooh, Wong. And now I figured I might as well check the Marvel Lego section as well, and you you know, it's funny, I always see it here and it doesn't seem like they have the Doctor Strange set today. Like they've got the Spider-Man No Way Home one with Doctor Strange in it, but no Doctor Strange sets. Huh, kind of odd. Alrighty, so we're out of Walmart, and if I'm gonna be honest, that is the least I've seen there in a while. But the good news is that's not the only store we're gonna be going to, because a little while ago I had seen Hot Topic post on their Instagram that they got in some of the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness figures, so let's go over there next. And also, fingers crossed they still have them. No, they don't have anything too crazy, but the stuff that they do have is what I'm looking for, because they've got Rin Tran from Doctor Strange, Strange. They also have Supreme Strange, Sarah, and then I think that's it for the normal figures. But then over here, they've got a couple of the Pocket Pops as well. And I think I'm probably gonna grab a couple of these too. And now I know this isn't Doctor Strange, but it is some new stuff for here. They've got like the Emily from Corpse Bride Pop Pin. And then I noticed over here, they've got a couple sodas, like Bluto, which I still need for my collection. And then they also have a brand new set of Pocket Pockets called Clown Spy, and I believe it's the first time I've ever seen them in person. Okay, everybody, so we are now out of Hot Topic, and I got a huge bag of stuff, like way more than I expected today. And now the next place that we're gonna be going to is GameStop, so I'll see you inside. All right, so this is what the section is looking like, and so far, I'm not seeing much Doctor Strange. Like, we've got a couple Marvel ones over here with some of the Eternals, as well as Sharon Carter, Ravona Renslayer, What If, which is a pretty cool one, and then over here we've got, like, The Matrix, more Eternals, but yeah, no Doctor Strange. And, like, I guess they do have Deadpool Squirrel pull up at the top there, which is pretty cool, but again, not Doctor Strange. All right, everybody, so we are now back, and I gotta say, we did really well over at Hot Topic, mainly because that's the only place we got pops. Oh, and actually, before we get into the Doctor Strange stuff, I do want to let you guys know that over at GameStop, they're now taking pre-orders on U2s. I checked to see if mine was on the list, which it wasn't, but the good news is you can still get it at U2s.com. Besides not finding mine, while I was looking through that list, I noticed two different things that were kind of odd. At the top, there was a bunch of U2s that were just numbers, so maybe unreleased ones that we don't know are even happening yet. And then about three quarters of the way down the list, they already had the Naruto ones up for pre-order, which aren't even on U2's website yet. So if you were thinking of picking those up, definitely go over to GameStop to pre-order them now. This is also not an ad for GameStop. I just thought it was kind of interesting that they're now in stock. And if they start to show up in stores, we will definitely be adding those to the hunt. So stay tuned. Now, I guess let's get into the first thing that I got over at Hot Topic, which is going to be these three Pocket Pops. I was actually really pumped that they had these because I don't go out of my way to buy Pocket Pops, but if they have interesting ones in stores, I like to pick them up for the collection. And these three were definitely Definitely that. Oh, and also that Aussie Collectibles box, which should be showing up soon, should also have some more of these inside. I'm just hoping I didn't buy any that's also in that box. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And I guess before we get into the pops, we'll do the two non-Doctor Strange things that I picked up today. And it was the Bluto Soda. I didn't have any in the collection yet, so I had to grab a couple. And so really quickly, let's crack into these and fingers crossed we can get the chase, which I believe is black and white and also in a bit of a different pose. I think so. And so here we go. Are we going to be getting that chase? Um, it doesn't look like this one is, but it's going to look really nice next to my Popeye. And just to make sure that I'm not wrong about this, let me check the pog. No, this is the normal Bluto limited to one out of 6,250. Kind of a weird number. Now, everybody, let's get into the second can. And fingers crossed that this one is the chase, so I don't have to buy any more of these guys. Okay, so here we go. And also, this is probably one of the heaviest sodas that I've got in a while. And let's see, is this the chase? It doesn't look like it. Which is too bad, but I guess we'll be ordering more of the Blutos in the future. Yeah, this is definitely the common. 
with the sodas being pretty disappointing, let's get into something a little bit more exciting, starting with Supreme Strange. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember where this happens in the movie. Is this just Doctor Strange in a different outfit? Or maybe this is one of the other universe Doctor Strange? I'm not sure. Like, I can't picture him in the movie wearing this exact outfit. But one thing that I do have to say is his collar is massive. And even though I can't remember what part of the movie this figure was in, I gotta say, they did a really great job with the action pose he's in with his hand up like this and then his cape blowing in the wind. It's really nice. And then after that, we've got a bit of a smaller character, which I'm not complaining about because she was still an integral part of the movie. And this one here is Sarah. She didn't last very long. The movie's been out for like two and a half weeks. I'm allowed to spoil stuff. And I'm wondering if maybe when Funko was making these characters, they didn't actually know how long every single one of them was going to be in the movie because, well, Sarah's not in it for very long and then neither is, what's his name again? See, he's in it for so little, I don't even remember. Rin Tran. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's also kind of funny because I feel like this is the only time I really got to look at what she's wearing and I honestly didn't even know she had blue on. <laughs> And then everybody, the last one I was able to get from Hot Topic was Rin Tra <laughs> I think it's here. Well, 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 would you look at that, everybody? Right on time. But now we can't get too ahead of ourselves, so let's open this up after we talk about Rin Tran, because this is still a really detailed figure. Even though he has less screen time than Sarah, and I don't even know if they say his name in the movie, I still really enjoy the pop, and now he's holding like a bit of a lamp in his hand. And now this one, because it is a six inch figure, I gotta take it out of the box, just to see what it looks like a little bit closer up. And wow, there's some really great detail on this guy. Also, I'm no Noticing now, they kind of changed up the way they normally do bobbleheads, maybe to make it look like the fur is connected all the way down, or maybe his head's just a little bit closer than it would normally be, but you guys can see here, it honestly didn't even look like a bobblehead at first. And now that I've taken him out of the box, I am seriously really enjoying this character. He's got like the two huge earrings, he also has the lamp in his hand like I mentioned earlier, as well as, I'm just noticing now, he has fingernails? <laughs> Oh, and then also on the back here, for anybody curious, he does have a tail, and then it also looks like his feet are kind of like in the air, or he's more of like a ram or a goat, so I guess that's just how they stand. And now another thing that I'm trying to remember is if there's a normal Doctor Strange inside this box, which is number 1,000 in the Marvel line, but then also there is a chance for a chase, so if there is one in here, we might be getting one today. And I mean, we're not gonna find out just from sitting here, so let me cut into this box and find out what we got. Alrighty, so this is what we've got, and it looks like there are two different versions of Doctor Strange, with one of them being, oh, I did order number 1000, but it was the exclusive one, not the common version. And since I mentioned it, I guess we'll start with that figure. And I believe here in North America, it's exclusive to GameStop, but then Australia, it seems like Aussie Collectibles was able to get them in. And I got it a little bit earlier than GameStop would have. And I gotta say the metallic on this figure is great. And I don't know if I'm gonna be getting both the common and the exclusive version. I'll probably just go for the chase because that one is pretty different compared to this one. Whereas the common one is the exact same colors as as the metallic version, just like slightly matte, it's not that interesting to me. And now Funko, I gotta say, you did an amazing job on this figure, especially the way the magic was done, because I remember with the original ones, it had like this weird kind of like clear thing going into his hand, but you seem to have figured out how to do it pretty perfectly. And now I guess next up here, we can do the pocket pops inside this box, because they're upside down, and I actually can't see which ones they are. So fingers crossed, they aren't doubles. Okay, Rin Tran, I did not get this one today. So far, one for one. And now let's get into the next one here, which is... Is Wong. Oh, great. It looks like we got a double on the Wong. So fingers crossed the third one isn't also a double. Oh, we got another America Chavez. But hey, you know what? I'm not complaining too much because it's not like I bought a double on a full-size Funko Pop. I'm sure somebody would want this to put on their keys. Or maybe I'll even put Wong on my keys because the one that I've got on there right now is getting kind of wrecked. It could be fun. And now let's get into the next pop, which is going to be Master Mordo, which is definitely a cool one. And I believe actually, now that I'm looking at it, do they have the same body? No, they're very similar though. For a second there, I thought Master Mordo as well as Supreme Strange were in the exact same body, but it seems like it's just a super similar one. And now if you guys want to take a bit of a closer look at this one, it is a pretty neat figure. And I'm liking the green suit on him with like the gold metallic accents. It looks pretty nice. And now with Doctor Strange having a pretty detailed cape with like almost like a brick road on the back of it, I want to see if Mordo has anything going on here. Okay, nothing too crazy on the back. Actually, now that I say that, there's literally nothing on the back of his cape. And now let's get into the last figure that we've got here, which is actually, now that I'm looking at it, probably one of my favorites that I've got in my Doctor Strange collection so far, just because he's actually floating on the Funko Pop. 
I'll show you guys what I mean because Funko really did some crazy stuff with this one where the body is completely different compared to the common version. And so when you first look at it, you might just think that this is a normal Doctor Strange, but then when you take him out of the box, you'll notice something kind of interesting. His legs are up in the air and the only thing that's holding him up is his cape. And so if you were to just put it on a desk or something, it almost looks like Doctor Strange is floating and it's a really great way of doing it. Instead of having like that clear base on the backside, it's pretty unique. And I don't really know many other characters that they could do this with. And I remember they did it with like Wanda a while ago, but she did have that kind of like clear base in the back. So it wasn't as cool as this one. And don't get me wrong, it was still a really neat figure, but I like when they actually incorporate the character into the mold instead of just using that clear base. It's nice sometimes. Oh, and also for anybody wondering, this figure here in North America is going to be a specialty series figure. And I was kind of hoping that this one would have it, but it seems like they only have the special edition sticker on this one. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have picked up any of the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness characters. And if you have, which ones have you picked up? Oh, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't even shown you guys the back of the box. And there are only a couple that I'm missing. Actually, now that I'm looking here, I'm only missing Wong as well as America Chavez. And then I have every single one of the common figures. Oh, and I guess I don't have the normal Doctor Strange, but we'll get him eventually. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Shut up, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx. Pass some cataracts. Watching all the tests.